Majesty, I think it's imprudent for you to ride here without an escort. Treason may be lying in wait where we least expect it. No. Prudence has never changed the course of history. You may go. You'll probably be glad to know Sigmund has been assassinated at last and the throne of Swabia is vacant. Listen. There's nothing to be gained by waiting. Believe me, you could ascend the throne today if you really wanted to. Don't forget that Sigmund's rightful heir is my ward, Albert. But he's a mere child. How could he stop you? You fool. It isn't Albert, but the reaction of the nobles and the people. They would rebel if they realized what we have been planning. Who's capable of seeing through our plans, Rudolf? The man who's been most faithful to Sigmund and who's proved himself my enemy. Manfred of Swabia. But he is in Italy. It would take three weeks for the news to reach him. He'll find out who had Sigmund murdered. That's one thing I'm sure of. And he'll guess what we're planning. In addition, he'll defend that spoiled child Albert at the cost of his own life. I tell you, I know it. What's more, the people will support him. A defenseless child always moves the hearts of simple people, as you well know, Theodolinda. So what are you going to do about it all, Rudolph? I shall beat Manfred at his own clever game. I'll send a regent, Baron Berthold von Stauffenhoff. He will have absolute authority over the Italian provinces. In the name of my ward, Albert. What if Manfred should rebel against the regency and drive your baron out? That's what I hope he will do. I'd be transformed into the righteous defender of the true heir, Sigmund's grandson, young Albert. And Manfred would be considered a usurper. To destroy him then would be child's play. <laughs> And so, in spite of the diligent tact and firmness I have employed, I have achieved very little of the past who set me here in Italy. I have met with unexpected opposition. It's obvious that our mission is not only difficult, but much graver than anticipated. Manfred is not the man one can take by surprise. Even the castle I have chosen as our headquarters may well house his supporters. The destruction of Manfred is essential for peace in the Italian provinces. Your humble servant, Baron von Stauffenholz. I'll sign it. And so I must call Sigmund's natural son Manfred a usurper. And yet I believe He's Albert's loyal friend. Strange, the ironic twists of politics. The Emperor's murder could not have placed us in a more difficult situation. Don't be a pessimist, Father. You were wasted in Germany. Even so, you could have refused to be regent of Italy. Of course, you're quite right, Grenda. But you must realize that Rudolf is a very demanding master, whose orders one can't question. For the Chancellor to his Bavarian Majesty. You have 20 days to make the journey to Weiblingen, not one more. Can you do it? Yes, sir. Fine. Did you like that? Haven't I trained him well? <laughs> oh, now you've spilled the water. You're becoming more impossible every day. Well, if you're going to act like this, I guess I'd better be going. Go on, then. Go. All right. But you know you don't mean it. Who was that lady who was riding with you yesterday in the valley, huh? She's a member of the aristocracy. Who is she? She is Grandpa von Stauffenholz, the daughter of the region. She's pretty, isn't she? Do you like her very much? But she's a German. Sure, she's pretty, but she's not my type. And she treats us like dirt just because she's a baroness. Surely you don't think... 
I love you. And I want to marry you. Don't you know that? That's what you're always saying, Astolfo. But you don't want to do anything except talk. You can't marry a peasant's daughter. You're an aristocrat. And one day they will knight you. They knight? Please don't make me laugh out of Ella. I'm a mere page. I'm not even a squire yet. And perhaps I'll never be. Ah, uh, sometimes I think I should return to the island of Prochida and buy a boat and learn the trade of a fisherman. You want to give up now? Just when I found work at the castle? It was only to be near you. No, don't worry. I love you and I'll never leave you. yourself, Astolfo. Baron Berthold has been asking for you. Go to him immediately. Yes, Mother Viviana. And don't forget, he is the one who has command now. Long live Manfred. Oh. <laughs> this morning my aim was much better. Ah, the son of Italy rejuvenates me. You know, if it weren't for the affairs of government, I could be very content. I'm very happy to see you like this, Father. At least today you've forgotten to speak about Manfred. Manfred, thank goodness, is not here and is much too busy recruiting militia to be worried about me and the plans of our government. Astolfo, I've decided to form a party to go hunting in the forest. Prepare the horses. We'll be leaving immediately. I'll go at once. I think you know these woods very well, don't you? I do. I grew up in them. Splendid. You'll serve as guide. <laughs> day for hunting. Truly a perfect day, Baron Bertolt von Stauffenholz. I've already shot a magnificent partridge, but I never dreamed I'd stumble across such noble game. Manfred. In person. I'm most displeased at having to interrupt your hunting party, but affairs of state compel me to. You're more rapid than the falcon. I was sure you were far away. Exactly. Many miles away. I was, my lady. And yet here I am. Count Ricardo, I'm entrusting you with Baron von Stauffenholz. Escort him back with your men. Go now. And now we'll all go back to the castle. Madam, you are under my command. Under your command, it will be a pleasure. Astolfo! Carter, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> I once heard a prophecy told by a fortune teller many years ago. She appeared before your father. Princes of Teutonic blood who dare cross the threshold of this castle will become victims of a betrayal. Really? My lord, you're risking your life. No, I don't believe in legends, Carter. I alone can shape my destiny. Let's go. Mother Bibiana! You see here Manfred von Stolzen, who as a baby, you taught and raised with gentleness, who now stands before you a man. Oh, Sir Manfred. Won't you come to see me later? Yes, Sir Manfred. Now these are my decisions. Present them to the Council of the High Court immediately. To begin with, I don't recognize your regency and I dismiss you. When I ordered you to leave the territory of this kingdom, you disobeyed me. Don't you realize that I could have accused you of treason? You must leave here immediately and don't ever come back. 
I must go since you give me no other choice. But that does not signify that you're right or that the law is on your side. The Regency belongs to me by right of direct inheritance. The magistrates who are present here can confirm that. Indubitably. These doddering old judges are all in your paid service and therefore I... No, Baron. These judges serve only justice. I see that it's futile to discuss this. Permit us then to leave at daybreak. Tomorrow you go alone. Your daughter Grenda will remain here with me as hostage. That's an insufferable outrage. No, it's just a precaution. But don't be afraid for her. She will be treated with every care and consideration according to her rank. Will she be returned to me before long? That depends upon you. I want to make certain that the Imperial Court does not bear me any hostility. And you will tell my nephew Albert that his kingdom is in good hands. He's still a young boy. But I know he'll understand. My lady, your new lodgings will be over there in the tower. Wait for me in the courtyard below. I will join you there in a few moments. Yes, sir. One of these two weapons do you prefer? One or the other. It doesn't matter. All right, then you take that one. And this one's for me. Pretty good. What's your opinion, Carter? I would say yes. He's just as fast as a streak of lightning, my lord. His sword can find an unprotected spot and then slip away like a flash. What is your name? Astolfo. I was page for the late emperor. Good. You will be my squire. Thank you, sir. Tomorrow after the mass, you will receive communion and your spurs of silver. I think you should be congratulated, my lad. I am Herman, the master of the squires. As of today, you are a member of our family. Are you pleased? I'm sure you're aware it's a great honor. At last! For the Viviana. Give me a slap, stab me with a needle, pinch my nose. I want to make sure I'm not dreaming. What on earth is the matter with you? It's true, I'm awake. Oh, you are silly. Manfred of Stolzen has made me his squire. That's the best news. I'm so proud. Manfred is strong and wise. They say he believes in his own star. Why do you suddenly seem so sad? Since he's arrived at the castle, the memory of that prophecy does nothing but torment me. Do you believe in prophecies? Why? I'm afraid he's in great danger here. Something will happen to him, I know. Now promise me, you won't worry and I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, all right, I won't. Goodbye.
This is unexpected, if I may say so. And to what do I owe this great honor? If you permit me, I know I shouldn't have come here like this. Please don't add to my embarrassment with unwarranted sarcasm. I know you'll come to ask for clemency for your father. No, I don't doubt your fairness at all. I know that he'll be able to return to Germany without any unfortunate accident. You've come for yourself, then? No, I'm not here for myself. I fail, then, to understand why you've come here. Oh, it will be much more difficult for me to explain this to you if you are so obstinate and don't even try to help me. What is this, a guessing game? What are you proposing? Nothing. Why couldn't I leave with my father? The reasons are obvious, and I explained them most clearly. But I'm not complaining about being here as your prisoner. A hostage is not a prisoner. What is a hostage, then? It's a person who guarantees a pact. Only that. You are a lovely young woman. Beautiful. Desirable. But you have made a grave error. If I wanted what you are implying, I would conduct myself in another way. What way? I would do you an injustice if I told you. Now you're making me feel as if I should be ashamed of myself. What are you saying? There's nothing to be ashamed of. Let's not talk about it anymore. I only want to take you into my arms. A woman who surrendered to the embraces of my half-brother Henry, bribing him to become an enemy of his father and to divide the crown with you. Your luck was short-lived. Henry paid dearly for his folly. Don't be so surprised. If you have succeeded in maintaining your secret, someone else did not succeed in keeping his. Your husband was a man without blemish. He preferred to meet death than live in dishonor. It is late. It would be better if you returned to your own quarters. Go away, Anya. Leave me alone now. Don't you need me for anything at all, my lady? I said leave me alone. Brenda. Ricardo. It was indiscreet of you to have come here. No. You must know that you can have faith in me. Come on now, Grand. I'm here. Tell me. You mustn't be afraid. I'm afraid for you. If Manfred ever discovered... You'll never find out. Tell me. I beg you. Ricardo, I'm a frightened woman. Alone. Without any protection. In danger. In danger? Manfred's not a man who's noble, generous, and loyal as you think he is. He's a creature who is despicable and without any scruples. He would be capable of doing anything to be able to satisfy his own desires. He tried to force his attentions upon me, but I rebelled against the beast because I just couldn't tolerate his arrogance, and therefore he treated me like a slave. Ricardo, you've been a good friend of his for many years, and I'm wondering if I've committed a grave error now in confiding in you. Who ever told you that I'm a friend of Manfred? Perhaps you can imagine how I detest that presumptuous impostor who assumes the privileges and the heirs of a legitimate sovereign. You don't know how it exasperates me to see his undeserved good fortune. How often my heart seems to swell with hatred for him. Oh, if the day would only come when I could see him groveling in the dust, finished forever. Do you understand? Now listen. I promise you I'll murder him if he should ever try to harm you. You mustn't run this risk for me, Ricardo. Drenda, maybe you don't understand what I'm trying to say. I love... No, Ricardo. I won't permit you to sacrifice your own life this way. And what could you possibly hope to gain by acting like that? It would be futile with the entire kingdom in his power. Better to beat him using very different weapons. Like shrewdness and cunning. You mean... You're well acquainted with his egotism. And all his ambitions, are you not? Very well. What shall we do? We'll wait for him to make one false move. Just one will be enough. The one that will lead him to steal the crown from Albert. No. It would be an act of madness. He'd never do that. You think so? Persuade him to believe that Albert is dead. I understand now. Oh, Ricardo. You should go now. You can't be seen here. 
My dear Andrea, at last the time has come to act. Arrange to have a trusted messenger bring Manfred word that little Albert has died. You will understand the reason for this false message later. It is vital that the news appear authentic. Your brother, Ricardo. Mark, bring the carrier pigeon. You may go. There, there. Now you behave, or you'll end up roasted. This should be the message I've been waiting for from my brother Ricardo. Hmm. Identify yourself. Imperial messenger, I have a message for Prince Manfred. Let him pass. As you can see here, the function of the model is most elementary. In fact, an envoy has just arrived from the Imperial Court with a message for you, sir. He has to be able to deliver it personally into your hands. Show him in. Give this man something to eat and provide him with a place where he can rest. The young prince is dead. The noblemen, the knights, the officers are all to be called together for a council. Carter, see that the troops are gathered together in the courtyard immediately. Dear, it's nothing. Would you like me to find out what's going on? Yes, Anya, dear, please do. The king is dead. Long live the king. Long live, Long live the, the king. king. I swear before God that I will be worthy of my destiny. Long live the king. Long, Long live, live the king. king. He's fallen into the trap. This is exactly what I wanted him to do. I can't believe it. The throne will be ours now in just a little while. It's not the moment to talk such nonsense. First, we have to take care of more important things. I want to get Manfred out of the way, first of all. To accomplish this, I'll assemble my soldiers. We'll cross the Alps, and from there, I will march directly towards the goal, Italy.
paying attention to me now. I want you all to try it. Come on. Sweep and back and left and up. up and left. Get your arm up higher and left. Come on. Try it. That's the way to shoot an arrow. Did you see it? Back. You over there. Give it a try. Left. Be quick now. Hard and left and right again. Get your arm up higher and left and go. At last, Ricardo. What a surprise to find you here, Andrea. I've got to speak with you at once. What could have happened that's important enough to induce you to leave Caserta? Misfortune visits every man. No one is spared, neither humble nor powerful. We will soon see the bright star of Manfred growing dimmer. What? Certain sources tell us that Rudolf of Bavaria has descended into Italy. He will arrive with his army to defeat Manfred. They say he's brought along Albert. Are you serious? On my word of honor, there's even more. Rudolph sent by secret messenger a proposal offering me an... an alliance. And what did you reply to this? I accept it. He also wants you to take part in this plot. But how? Rudolph doesn't want you to fight, understand? He needs you as an accomplice. Tell me what I should do. Go to Manfred and ask permission to fight under his command. He'll uh, consider this a generous gesture and consent to it. He is bound to offer you an important position. When the moment's appropriate, Relinquish the post to the enemy. You mean betray it? <laughs> We've begun to betray it with the false message of Albert. The moment is ripe. Manfred isn't here right now. He's with his troops in the field. Then go join him. There's something you wanted. Remember? The castle of Aquila. You're convinced me. Rudolph of Bavaria will be able to count on me. Long live Manfred! What is it? I've come from the frontier in the north. Rudolf of Bavaria is marching against you. Albert is with him. Albert? What are you babbling about? Albert is dead. I've seen him with my own eyes. He's as alive as you and I are at this moment. Traitors. They are all traitors. There's no time to be lost. Gather together the men who are at our disposal. Recruit the others in the provinces, as many as you can. Rudolf of Bavaria has bitten off more than he can chew. I came as soon as I heard the news, sire. This is a pleasant surprise, Ricardo. Your presence is a joy after so much time. You must be tired. You bring him some wine. I had thought that in these difficult hours, perhaps a loyal friend could be of service to you. For this reason I have come, even without your official invitation. My sword and my life are at your service, Your Majesty. Count Ricardo, I'm most grateful. You are a man whom I can trust, and you have arrived at the proper moment. I have a difficult mission to assign to you. You must try to prevent the enemy from attacking before the arrival of new military forces. I want you, along with your cavalry, to hold them at bay. Thus avoiding an encounter which could be decisive. I hope you can do it. Sire, I'm honored that you entrust me with a mission of such importance. This is Giordano Lancia, knight from Lombardy, second to none for courage and valor. He will go with you and aid you in defending the pass against Rudolf's cavalry. You won't be able to find a young lieutenant better than he is. Be good to him, Ricardo. The man who enjoys such esteem from you, sire, must be a good soldier. I shall place all my faith in him. Prepare everything and leave at once with the Count of Caserta. I wish you much luck in this dangerous venture. And I wish you, sire, the same.
I hope you will deign to accept, sire and your highness, my humble and devoted homage. What new developments bring you here, Count Andrea? Those which you awaited, sire. If you come with me, I'll show you something I promised. I'm ready. Let's go immediately. Albert, is Count Andrea waiting in vain for the privilege of having your attention? Well, then, don't you recall any more what you're supposed to say to your faithful subject? Mm. Count Andrea of Casale, we have been made aware of your bravery and of your, your loyalty to us. To the Crown and Our Highness, it's been my... It's been our decision to express to you our benevolence and and to assure you of our royal protection, so that, so that... Very good. That'll do, Albert. You can say the rest during another visit. Now stay here a while and wait for me, and if you want to, why don't you play with the dog? No one at all will disturb you. Let us be going. Give close attention to that flag flying down here. It carries a black line with bands of gold. Yes, I see it. What of it? It means when that flag is removed, you'll be able to move your militia through the pass. You won't encounter any opposition. Are you quite sure? I am as certain of it as I, Andrea, am at this moment beside Rudolph of Bavaria. I believe you. To whom does that flag belong? To my brother Ricardo, the Count of Caserta, and he is constable to Manfred. <laughs> Huh? Long live Manfred. I'm the constable. I'm looking for Count Lancia. Here I am, sir, at your command. I must speak with you. You may go. Rudolph has changed all his plans and has advanced upon us to our right. We run the risk of being attacked from the rear by the enemy troops. I think that this site should be abandoned immediately. You may be right, but I must obey the king. The orders are wrong. Now I must decide what is best. You'd better be ready to depart before daybreak. I'm sorry, but I'm not of the same opinion. Do as you wish. Very well, then. Remain here alone and try to hold the position. Try to understand... <laughs> Fire! The flag was just removed. The road is open now. Give the order to attack. Forward! Thank God you're here. Ricardo of Caserta has betrayed you, sire. He abandoned the Arsano Bridge, permitting the enemy to take it. His own men tried, uh, attempted to, uh, to kill me. Hurry up. Take him into your quarters and provide him with the best of care. The life of this man must be saved. Ricardo. Call a meeting of my captains. We must decide immediately what's to be done. I've called you to inform you of shocking developments. I've been told of a plot to destroy us. Ricardo of Caserta, the one man I thought I could depend upon, has fled and let the enemy capture the pass. The problem's a grave one, but not hopeless. I'm sure I can count on you, and this is more than enough for me to face the battle. We're more than ready to give our lives for your safety, sire. I'm grateful, but remember this victory will also be yours. Now I'll explain my plan. Before us stands an army battle tried and powerful. They will attack our men with their strong cavalry, but we'll defend our position in such a manner that they'll be defeated. The territory selected for the encounter is the plateau of Ronca. Here.
I must stall, folks. Come down. Quickly, Astolfo, tell me, what has happened? Mantra's army, they betrayed us. What are you saying, Astolfo? Ricardo of Caserta betrayed us to the enemy. And the officers, they deserted us. And the king? Manfred died on the battlefield. None of the others escaped. I was the only one who was able to get away. But I'm not a coward, believe me. I believe you. What'll we do? Ricardo is sure to return to the castle. If he should find me, it could mean my life. You've got to go away. Yes, but I want to take Arabella with me. I can't leave her here. I'll remain here as a sentry. I'll warn you if anyone should come. Now, hurry. Arabella, where are you? Arabella! Astolfo! Hurry, we must leave immediately. There's no time to lose. Leave? Why? What's happened? I'll tell you later. Let's go now. Ricardo's already arrived with his escort. You can hide over there near the bridge. As soon as they've passed, you'll be able to escape without having been seen. And Arabella? She'd better return to her room. The Count holds nothing against her. We don't have any other choice. When day breaks, Herman will help you escape from the castle. I'll be waiting for you at the mill in Rieti. For the time being, pretend submission to Ricardo. But soon there will be a new resistance. And then come join Hurry, us. Hurry, over there. <laughs> I have the honor of bringing you greetings from Rudolf of Bavaria, the new successor to the usurper Manfred. I had hoped that this news would make you happy. I don't understand. Manfred and all his men have been destroyed by Rudolf's mercenaries. Not one of them is still alive. Are you quite certain? I know of one man at least who was able to escape from the battle. Who is it? Astolfo. Astolfo? Yes, he was here just a while ago. Now where is he? I'm positive that Herman knows where. Do you know where Astolfo is? No, I don't. He was here tonight and then departed a few moments before you got here. What did he want here at the castle? I'm afraid I can't tell you, sir. I want you to answer I me. didn't feel it was my duty to follow him or to ask him what he was doing here. All right, then. Get out of here. What do you hope to gain with such anger? You don't understand that if this scoundrel escapes, he'll agitate all of Manfred's partisans against me. Is that important? Very well, then. There is a person here in the castle who may tell you where he's hiding. Who is it? Tell me. Arabella. Arabella. Of course. Of course. I never thought of her. Come with me. You've seen a stop. No, sir. He's not been here. So you haven't seen him? No, sir. You're lying. We know he was here before. I tell you, I don't know where he is. Speak, I'm warning you. I tell you for your own good. Speak now. Sir, I swear to you. You miserable peasant wench, grab her. Now I'm going to teach you how to talk. Give me the whip. What are you hesitating for? <coughs> now tell me where Astolfo is, liar. <coughs> Stop. Don't kill her. Yes, it would be useless to beat her to death before she speaks. Let's permit her to leave here. In a carriage that Mark will follow. She herself will lead us straight to Astolfo. Perhaps you are right. Let her alone for now. Tomorrow I'll decide what's to be done with her.
last your back is beginning to heal, my child. Why can't you wait until you're feeling better? A stoffel expects me at Rieti. I must go to him before they discover his hiding place. Well, I can't understand it. We're living in strange times. In the days of real nobility, a lawyer would never have dreamed of whipping a young maid. I know, Father. He would have had her whipped by his servant. Yeah. Yeah. Ricardo. Now, well, see, he pays for this. Come inside. I'll remain here. If anyone should come, I will warn you. Thank you. I'm so frightened. What's going to happen to us? First, I want to take care of you, darling. I will take you to the sanctuary in Aquila, and you'll be quite safe there with Mother Bibiana. And where will you go? Don't worry about me. Some friends of mine are waiting for me. Soon, many other men will join our ranks, and we will avenge Manfred. We've got to try to escape. How will we get out of here? This way. Let me help you. You can't go in Let there. Let me pass. You won't find anyone there. Get out of my way. Don't move. See something over there. Come on. They escaped through here. The stairs lead down to the river. There's a great deal of water down there. I saw it. Could they have drowned? Possible. If they've escaped us. We'll go back and say that they're dead, understand? If you dare to tell me that you don't know anything, I'll punch this sword through your ribs. I, I what are you doing here anyway? I don't know. I...
sisters, we are looking for a woman by the name of Bibiana. Could you please take us to her? May the Lord be with you. Enter. Our plan was carried out with outstanding success. Your valiant army conducted itself bravely in a manner that was admirable. And now there is only one insignificant particular. What, Your Majesty? Albert. We had hoped all along that he might improve. You're aware that his health is delicate. And as with all sick people, we have tried to prepare ourselves for something unpleasant. The people will suffer very much upon his demise, Your Majesty. Ah, the people, after a short while, will have completely forgotten him. Believe me, it's more important that these banners remain immortal reminders of a great power, this power. Do I make myself clear, Count Valbul? Do I? Marquis, Your Majesty. Marquis of Valbul. If we succeed, Count, but not until then. Whatever decisions we make should be reached immediately. We have got to rescue Prince Albert from the hands of Rudolph of Bavaria before he decides to offer the boy to Count Ricardo. You know what could happen then. We all know. They would barter his freedom against our surrender. Well, there's no other choice than to take command of the army and act at once. Well then, what do you think of my plan? It's not bad, but it seems too risky to be successful. Do you have any other plans? No, I don't. However, I think we ought to act with shrewdness rather than force. I agree with you. But you don't seem to realize that time is growing short. Don't misunderstand me, Herman. I'd give my life if I thought this venture could be successful, but I'm convinced it would be better to capture Prince Albert without useless bloodshed. You're right. Rudolf of Bavaria won't be able to accuse us of violence. And once we've been successful in crowning young Albert, he will be forced to acknowledge the fact and accept it. Wait. I have an Why are you so unhappy lately, Grenda? We really don't have a thing to complain about. We've got everything now. We have this castle. We even have vassals who punctually pay their taxes. And above all, we're promised the benevolence of Rudolph of Bavaria and his protection. You are without ambition. Do you really think that all these petty gifts of Rudolph can repay your services? Was it worth your putting our lives in jeopardy for just this, being given as a prize that which the others obtained through cowardly acts of submission? Just look at the others. They're all far more cunning and greedier than you are. And who are these others? The very ones who were, through your instigation, convinced to put their faith in the cause of Rudolph. And now they're enjoying favors that you should have had. It was you who faced all the danger. I don't envy them. I'm only too well aware of what it costs to be obligated to someone like that. <laughs> There's nothing that's permanent or unchanging in life, Grenda. Our day will come. Janello, play something. His music will certainly divert you. Until later, darling. <laughs> And now we shall read the fables of Fedras. I don't want to listen to it. I think it's very silly to pretend that animals can speak. Ah, but it's only a pleasant fantasy of the poet. I told you that I don't want to hear it. My dog never speaks to me. Oh, sit here beside me. Ad rivum eundem lupus et annus venerant. Titi compulsi, superior stabat lupus, longiqui inferior annus. In our own language, this means that a little wolf and a little lamb, both almost dead from thirst, discovered the very same brook and began to... Your Highness, where are you now? I'm over here. Well, if you must, but I beg you, don't wander too far.
little baby. muddied up my drinking water. Paying attention, Your Highness. Your Highness. Answer me, Your Highness. Where are you? Where are you? Your Highness. Your Highness. Oh. Prince Albert. Please answer me at once. What's happened? Who are they? They're knights from Rudolf of Bavaria's army. Albert has been abducted. Albert abducted. Mark. Where are you? Sir, the situation has taken a bad turn. I've been told by informers the insurgents are advancing toward us in great number. They'll take at most two days to reach the castle. Where they pass, they destroy military strongholds belonging to Rudolf of Bavaria, pillaging and massacring any of his suspect of disloyalty to Manfred. Miserable luck, and what is Rudolf planning? After... After this reverse, I believe he's decided to return to Germany. His military strength was insufficient to hold the territory. Oh, really? So this is the protection he promised his vassals, and I thought I could trust him. I was a fool, an idiot. I think I could also trust the men who gave such faithful service to Manfred. They showed their thanks by walking out. 
Herman. Have you news of Herman and the other deserters yet? Nothing yet. And if there were, what good would it be? I could swear that they've gone over to the insurgents. Let them go to blazes. But we're not finished yet. We must make plans to defend ourselves. Defend ourselves? How can we? With just a handful of hired soldiers without faith and without courage? What of my own vassals? But they're not men. They would flee at the first appearance of the insurgents. Well, in that case, we shall have to abandon the castle and make our headquarters inside Rome. The city will provide food and rest. Make arrangements to leave today. Mark, you take care of it. We shall take with us just the men who are armed. Very well. It'll be done. All right. Aren't you well? Are you still having nightmares in your sleep? No, Grenda. My dreams aren't the cause of my torment. I'm terribly afraid of the pending misfortune that we are about to face. What are you saying? Grenda. It's all over. The insurgents are marching against us. Rudolph of Bavaria has abandoned us. We must flee immediately. This is the only choice we have. Run away? Yes. Over the nearest border. Now, immediately. Gather together everything you may need and prepare to go with me. Grenda. Try to hurry. Meanwhile, I'll go down and give the orders for our departure. You've led us into an ambush. Get ready. We're turning back. Come on. There's no escape now. I'm very happy. Happy about what? I was sure that we would have another opportunity to meet one day. That land seems suitable for our purpose. Yes, it seems to be. 
Herman, up there's the convent of Aquila where Adabel and Bibiana are. Go over and inform them that Astolfo has returned. Right. I'll meet you later. Nothing matters to me now. Your Majesty, in nomine patri, et filii, et spiriti sancti, Amen. Tell me, Astolfo. What is it? Now that I've been crowned king, must I still study the fables of Petrus? No, sire. To be a good king, it's not necessary to know Latin. It's more important to have a heart that's noble and generous. Uh.